and welcome back to more Undertale. Last time we apparently took on Papyrus's death gauntlet, which was really underwhelming. It was a puppy though, and this time we are going to continue exploring the town of Snowden. What the heck is going on here? Oh, is that to keep the river cold? I don't know. This game is weird, I'm just gonna say that. Let's play Monsters and Humans. You aren't gonna make me be the human again, are you? <laughs> oh, to be young again. The world sure have felt boundless. Can't go- Ah, uh, uh, what a beautiful knock. Maybe if I don't answer, I'll hear it again. Ah, uh, my patience rewards me. <laughs> I don't even know. Ring ring. Hello? Can I speak to get Wait a second. Is this the wrong number? Oh, it's the wrong number! The wrong number song! So... He wants to speak to someone whose name starts with G. Conspiracies abound over who this character actually is. And supposedly people who have done some data mining have actually discovered that... Yeah, there is apparently a cut character is technically still able to be found in the code, but oddly enough, elusively enough, there are actually quite a few references to this mystery character in the game. All I'll say for now is the character's name is supposedly Gaster. Library. Welcome to the library. Yes, we know, the sign is misspelled. I love working on the newspaper. There's so little to report that we just fill it with comics and games. <coughs> when I was younger, my teachers gave me word searches when they ran out of assignments. I thought they were a waste of time. Look at me now. I'm the number one word search creator in the entire underground. There's a school report about monster funerals. Monster funerals, technically speaking, are cool as heck. When monsters get old and kick the bucket, they turn into dust. At funerals, we take that dust and spread it on that person's favorite thing. And the essence will live on in that thing. Uh, I'm at the page minimum yet. I'm kind of sick of writing this. Our monsters are mostly made of magic. Human beings are mostly made of water. Humans, with their physical forms, are far stronger than us. But they will never know the joy of expressing themselves through magic. They'll never get a bullet pattern birthday card. Here I am, writing this book. Person comes in and picks up the book. They start reading it. Oh, sorry. I'm still writing that one. Because <laughs> they're made of magic, monsters' bodies are tuned to their soul. If the monster doesn't want to fight, its defenses will weaken. The crueler the intentions of our enemies, the more their attacks will hurt us. Therefore, if a being with a powerful soul is struck with the desire to kill, let's just end the chapter here. Monster History Part 4 Fearing the humans no longer, we moved out of our old city, home. We braved harsh cold, damp swamplands, and sorry steering heat until we reached what we now call our capital, New Home. Again, our king is really bad at names? Love, hope, compassion. This is what people say monster souls are made of, but the absolute nature of the soul is unknown. After all, humans have proven their souls don't need these things to exist. Now look in your eye. You're someone that has trouble doing crosswords, aren't ya? Well, it looks like we've done all we can do here. Whoa, so much popular. There's a mailbox overflowing with unread chunk mail. This mailbox is labeled Papyrus. Look inside. It's empty. Sometimes you get actually different dialogue if you say no, so that's why I'm doing this. You realize that would probably be illegal. It's locked. This is Papyrus's house, and Sans's house by extension. So we will be visiting here later, but actually very soon. This, is, this basically connects to the other igloo at the other side of town. Um, let's go further. We can see the ice floor, and this is so cool looking. Way to kill my voice again now. <clears throat> Clear his throat. Human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. Feelings like the joy of finding another pasta lover. 
and admiration for another's puzzle solving skills. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, it must be what you are feeling right now. I can hardly imagine what it must be like to feel that way. After all, I'm very great. I don't ever wonder what having lots of friends is like. I pity you, lonely human. Worry not, you shall be lonely no longer. I, the great pirate, will be your... No. No. This is all wrong! I can't be your friend! You are a human! I must capture you! Then, I can fulfill my life of dream! Powerful, popular, prestigious! That's Papyrus, the newest member of the Royal Guard! We are fighting Papyrus now! Papyrus blocks the way. This boss is really hard, I've heard, so I'm not going to check him for now. I'm going to do this. What? Flirting? So you finally reveal your ultimate feelings in red text. I'm a skeleton with very high standards. I can make spaghetti or I have zero redeeming qualities. Oh no, you're meeting all my standards. I guess this means I have to go on a date with you <laughs> after I capture you. Papaya's music is pretty popular too. Uh, Sans's music is more popular, to be fair. Papyrus is thinking about what to wear for his date. Oh no! Let's see it later. Uh. Crud! Now what do we do? For what to cook for his date. Okay, let's check him now. Likes to say, yeah! <laughs> okay. Uh, comedic timing at its finest. Taps a bone cologne behind his ear. I think we just have to wait him out. Since acting won't escalate this battle. Yeah, I feel like we just have to uh, wait this out. Because I feel like the battle is progressing on its own pretty well. I need to turn up this cursor speed. This is getting ridiculous. So you won't fight? Then let's see if you can handle my favorite blue attack. Ow. Ooh. Ouch. Ow. Ooh. Ow. 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 I hurt so much. Oh, snap! Um, you're blue now. <laughs> That's my attack. <laughs> you're blue now. Huh? I'm gonna actually wear. So jump with up on the D-pad. Tapping it different lengths gives you a different jump height. Papyrus stabs MTT brand anime powder behind his ear. MTT stands for Metaton. But we will not be seeing Metaton for quite a, t a long time. A ton of time, I guess you could say. What? I'm not thinking about that date thing. So see, we have to jump high over these. Oh, snap. This is actually a little bit tricky. Papyrus steps empty seaprint. <laughs> She's behind his ear. Uh, if you look at Papyrus' sprite, you'll probably notice that something is definitely missing from this picture. Now don't make me use my special attack! Uh, this part is where the battle actually gets kind of real. <laughs> um, Papyrus the Dab's Entity Brand Attraction Slime Man is here. I can almost taste my future popularity. Um. Oh! Snap, I forgot about that. What? This game was just absurd. Papyrus had the real god. Oh snap. Oh boy. Oh boy. Um, Papyrus realizes he doesn't have ears. Papyrus unparalleled spaghetti. Oh boy. Oh boy. Uh, how'd that hurt me? Oh, the tip of it was white. Okay. Papyrus is trying hard to play cool. Undyne will be really proud of me. Sure she will. She just goes around beating people up like we've heard. I doubt she'll be proud of Papyrus. Under any circumstance. Papyrus is rattling his bones. The king will trim a hedge in the shape of my smile. Oh boy. Um, Pain the king. <laughs> Papyrus is trying hard to play cool. My brother will- well, he won't change very much. I'm actually not shouting his dialogue nearly enough. 
I'm going to use an ice cream just to be on the safe side. Safe side, you're super spiffy. Your HP was maxed out. I have a lot of admirers, but... Oh boy. Yeah, after you let go of the button, you sort of float, so that's the key. Pyrus is rattling his bones. Would anyone like me as sincerely as you? That is the question of the day. Not really, because I don't do that. A lot of people do questions of the day, I really don't. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I'm surprised I made it through those last two. Pyrus whispers, yeah, yeah. Someone like you is really rare. Oh boy. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, this is new. <laughs> Pyrus is rattling his bones. I'd say maybe that dating might be kind of hard. Why is that? Oh, it's the, the top of the and bottom of the bones that hurt, or something. Oh no. Pyrus is preparing a bone attack after your capture and sent away. I jumped too early. Crap. Um, twice. Might I add? Pyrus is cackling. Say the cinnamon, cinnamon bun. You eat the cinnamon bun and your HP is maxed out. Ah, who cares? Give up! Oh boy. Uh, uh, panicking. Pyrus is preparing a bone attack. Give up or face my special attack! Ah, oh, crud. Pyrus is preparing a non bone attack and spends a minute fixing his mistake. <laughs> yeah, very soon I will use my special attack! Oh boy, this is hard to do on the D-pad. This is not actually kind of hard to do on the D-pad. Pyrus remembered a, sa a bad joke Sam saw him in his frown. I'm playing this fight really safe, if you can tell. Um, not too long, I'll use my special attack! Why is it hurting me? Oh, I'm stupid. You can't move while... You can't, like, be pushing anything. That's the thing. Like, if you're pushing something, the blue attack will hurt you. That's what it feels like. Last chance before my special attack. I didn't actually read that. Or not. Because I still took damage. I don't know how blue attacks work. Papyrus is considering his options. Behold! My special attack! What the heck? That's my special attack! Hey, you stupid dog! Do you hear me? Stop munching on that bone! Hey, what are you doing? I'm back here with my special attack! <sighs> oh well... I'll just have to use a really cool regular attack. <sighs> it's an absolutely normal attack! Oh boy, I misjudged that situation severely. How did I dodge as much as I did? <laughs> the dog. Cool. Dude. What the heck? What? <laughs> what? What the heck was that? Not that I'm complaining because it was hilarious, but still, like, seriously, what the heck was that? I'm, I'm prepared for anything at this point. Well, <laughs> it's clear you can't <laughs> defeat me. Yeah, I can see you shaking your boots. Therefore, I, the great Papyrus, elect to grant you pity. I will spare you, human. Now is your chance to accept my mercy. Papyrus is sparing you. Did we check him? I can't remember we checked him. Negative 1360? <laughs> he looks. Oh, wait, we did check him. Never mind. No! Can't even stop someone as weak as you. Undyne's going to be disappointed in me. I'll never join the Royal Guard, and my friend Quantity will remain stagnant. What should you say? Well, loser. Yeah, let's be friends. Really? You want to be my f to be friends with me? Well then, I guess. I guess I can make an allowance for you. Wow, we haven't even had a first date, and I've already managed to hit the friend zone. <laughs> Who knew that all I needed to make pals was to give people awful puzzles and then fight them? You taught me a lot, human. I never grant you permission to pass through. 
I'll give you directions to the surface. Continue forward until you reach the end of the cavern. Then, when you reach the capital, cross the barrier. That's the magical seal trapping all the underground. Anything can enter through it, but nothing can enter. Exit. I've read that backwards. Except someone with a powerful soul, like you. That's why the king wants to acquire a human. He wants to open the barrier with soul power. Then the last monsters can return to the surface. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you. To reach the exit, you will have to pass through the king's castle. The king of all monsters. He is... Well, he's a big fuzzy pushover. Everybody loves that guy. I'm certain if you just say, Excuse me, Mr. Dreamer, have go, please go home. He'll guide you right to the barrier himself. Anyway, that's enough talking. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. Ta-ta. Wow, he was running on the water. Um, where, where are we at? 16 minutes. Which is going to be less because I'll cut out a few seconds of the intro while syncing the video. We should heal. We really should heal. I should have used the igloo. My bad. Why am I not saying anything? <laughs> um, well, we didn't actually need to use even that many items, which I'm I'm impressed by. Cause I kind of am terrible at that fight. Wait, I I, I predicted I'd be terrible at that fight. As I haven't played this game before, but I've watched enough people to play to know that that fight looks pretty difficult. So... I should have used the igloo again, what am I thinking? What if I- Oh, how nice of you to check my mail for me! Wait, no, that's very strange. <laughs> uh, he doesn't say anything about Sans's mail. Darn it all. So you came back to have a date with me? You must be really serious about this. I'll have to take you someplace really special. A place I'd like to spend a lot of time. Grillby's? The library? Library? Uh, the item shop? Um, my house! <sighs> Who didn't see that coming? Raise your hand. No one raised, probably raised their hands. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. The rock is covered in sprinkles. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sands, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's not here. Didn't you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. Impressed? I increased the height of my sink. Now I can fit more bones under. Take a look, see. <laughs> Again, who didn't see that coming at this point? What? That's a meddling canine. Curses. Sands, stop plaguing my life with incidental music. That's the trash can. Feel free to visit any time. Uh, interested in my food museum? Please, please peruse my culinary art show. Half of the fridge is filled with containers all labeled spaghetti. The other half contains nothing but an empty bag of chips. I'm assuming that sands half of the fridge. My brother always goes out to eat, but recently he tried baking something. It was like a quiche, but filled with a sugary non-egg substance. How absurd! You touch the couch, it makes a jangling sound. You find a bunch of loose coins inside the couch. You got 20G. It's a saggy old couch. Oh, it's my favorite game show. So stay tuned for a new program, MTT. What? This is better than this. This is just a bad episode. Don't judge me. I'm listening to the music, if you're wondering why I'm being silent right now. Yeah, we'll be hearing that song a lot later on, so I won't comment on it. It's a joke book. Take a look inside. Inside the joke book was a quantum physics book. You look inside. Inside the quantum physics book was another joke book. You look inside. This is another quantum physics book. You decide to stop. <laughs> a classic image. It always reminds me of what's important in life. Door is locked. 
that's why I'm here. If you're finished looking around, we can go in and do whatever people do when they date. Inside, sure. Can I leave? Okay, so it's not like time sensitive, okay. Those are all the attacks I used on you. Great memories, huh? Seems like it was only yesterday. Even though it basically just happened. That's my bet. If I ever get to the surface, I'd like to drive that long highway wind in my hair, sun on my skin. Of course, that's just a dream. So instead I cruise while I snooze. There are no skeletons inside my closet, except me sometimes. It's okay to be intimidated by my fashion sense. Now we should show what happens when he says yes to you. Inside the closet. Clothes are hung up neatly inside. Oh, that's boring. The internet! I'm quite popular there. I'm just a dozen away from a double digit fall. Wait. So he has negative two subscribers. <laughs> of course, fame has a steep price. A jealous troll has besieged my online persona. Always sending me bad puns in a goofy font. Oh man, this voice is. This is not an easy voice to do constantly. Isn't that flag Nito? Undyne found it at the bay. I think it's from the human world. Now I know what you're thinking. Why would a human flag have a cool skeleton on it? Well, I have a theory. I think humans must have descended from skeletons. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. Ah, uh, yes, action figures. A great reference for theoretical battle scenarios. How do I have so many? Well, let's just say they're from a chubby, smiling man who loves to surprise people. Yeah, that's right. Santa! I thought they were gonna go for Sans. Okay, Santa. I don't know if that's even a pun. That book's one of my favorites. Advanced Puzzle Construction for Critical Minds. And next book is another one of my favorites. peek boo with Fluffy Bunny. The ending always gets me. <laughs> I don't know why I find that funny every time. Anyway, next time we will be hanging out with this cool dude over here. So thank you for watching.